In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add interactive games to any website. And we are going to use Google Sites for this. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the way we're going to add some interactivity to our website is by using an extra service. Now this service is going to allow you to add all sorts of interactivity to your website. Now we are talking about a range of different games and styles to gamify your learning. So I hope that you check this out because it is not only an incredibly powerful website in terms of the variety of games that are available, but it's also something that I use very frequently in my classroom and the students love it. Now the website I'm talking about is called WordWall. You've got match games, anagrams, quizzes, mazes, open the box, whack-a-mole, all sorts of games. Now, as you can see here, there is a wide range of games available. Now, in order for you to get started, well, first of all, let's create a website and you can just create any website that allows you to embed code. Now, we're going to use Google Sites as an example. You can click in the cards at the top if you're unsure about how to create a Google Sites. Now, if you use another platform, make sure that you are allowed to use embed code. As long as that's available, we can get started. Now, we are going to first create our account with WordWall. Now, WordWall allows you up to five activities with their free account. And then with their two pro accounts, this goes up to unlimited. Now, I've used the free account and I've deleted activities when I no longer need them. But if you feel that you'd like to keep those activities and share them, keep them available, then a pro account would be what you need. Now, we're going to dive into it. And instead of just signing up and filling everything out, make sure you're already logged into Google and then you can click on login. Now, even if this is the very first time on the platform, you will log in using your Google credentials. Now, we're now in the main page and you will see there's a number of options and we're going to click on create an activity. Here you see a range of different interactive activities and the activity we're creating today is a labeled diagram. So go ahead and select labeled diagram and then here you will now be prompted to upload an image. Now this is going to be the diagram or image that you are going to have your students label. Now in this scenario, this demo, I'm going to use a Arduino Uno as the example and I'm going to ask my students to label all the different parts of this Arduino Uno. Now the way I do that is by first uploading an image or by using the built-in search. Now the built-in search is going to use Bing image search. So go ahead and search for that Arduino image. Once you have it, select it and we can now start adding labels. As you add labels to the right hand side, you'll see that extra numbers appear onto the image. You can rearrange these numbers to the correct location and add as many labels as you want. Now, there is a minimum and maximum number of labels and do be aware that this will work on any device, including mobile devices. So you might not want to add too many labels so that it is still usable when users open up that website on a mobile device. Now, once everything is done, you have your activity and you're now going to click on that share button down below. That share button is going to allow you to set the privacy of this activity. Do you want to make it public or do you want to keep it private? Now, I'm going to make it public and then I'm going to add it using the embed code. Now, depending on the platform you're going to use, this embed code is going to allow you to embed it into your website. However, if you are using Google Sites, as in this example, then you are not going to use this embed code because Google Sites embed functionality is already an iframe. And as you can read here, it has iframe code as well. So all you need is the link that you are given inside the embed code. We're going to click and select this link. And then in our embed functionality of Google Sites, instead of selecting embed code, we are going to stick to embed link for this time. Paste that link and add it to our website. As you can see now, we have an interactive game on our Google Sites. Go ahead and publish this website and your students or any visitor to your website can now see this game in action. Now, as you tweak the game, it will automatically adjust on your Google Sites. In other words, you can change the labels or increase them over time to add complexity to your website. If you enjoyed this, make sure to scroll down, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear which of these interactive activities do you like best and which one are you going to implement or use in your classroom next week. Once you've done that on the way up, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell notification as well, because otherwise you won't get notified of new videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.